Hey folks, I'm Philippi, and welcome back to Stellaris in our playthrough with the Nanite One Collectors. It's been a few days since I've recorded, so I'm a little uh, off balance at the beginning here, but I have read some of your comments and appreciate uh, those who have given me advice, especially catching me up in some of the 3.6.1 uh, updates uh, because I haven't learned everything quite yet, uh, especially around weapon design. Apparently disruptors, missiles, um, torpedoes, strike craft are uh, better at this uh, particular junction in this uh, patch, as well as less of a concentration on shields and more on armor and point defense and afterburners. So we're going to remodel our ships around that uh, particular thing, but I want to acknowledge a couple of other points. So one was building a uh, Starbase to be a fortress starbase to help protect my borders. And while I agree that's a good idea, I do find that starbases tend to fall fairly quickly due to uh, their inability to shoot down enough spacecraft uh, to mitigate the incoming damage. And so you end up with starbase that you spend a lot of money and time building, alloys I should say, and time building. And you end up with something that gets blown up pretty quick. Now it can't be a deterrent for the AI to move into that system, but that's one of the reasons I didn't build a big starbase down here in Zeta Reticuli, for instance, even though this was right on the border with this enemy. I did have it here as a defense base, but I didn't build a lot of um, defense platforms or built it to level 2, although I don't think I have a level 2 tech yet. Um, but yeah, it's certainly a good idea to build that kind of point, a uh, choke point uh, defense. I find it better to build a big starbase with a fleet sitting on it than there is just to build a starbase uh, with a lot of point defense, uh, not point defense, um, defense platforms. But I'll certainly take that into consideration when we go back to war with these people to take back my land and to take their land. Um, and the other one I wanted to note was to building starbases on planets. And I think that's also a great idea. I know, especially to get more solar panels, building them around these worlds here. Cigar, uh, Marquez, and Fangor will really help with my um, credit uh, deficit here, although it's not a deficit anymore. Um, and I will probably will look to doing some of that as well. Now we are limited at only seven star bases, but since we don't really seem to have an enemy in the north, and I could probably block them off with a single star base, maybe right here, maybe on this world planet here, this 15 tomb world wouldn't be too bad to colonize. Uh, we'll try that, especially since we got space, space amoeba on the one side here. Might try that as well, we'll see. We do have a contact with alpha aliens over here, or Aleph aliens? Whatever, with this alien over here. There's probably an empire over this way, so we'll want to take this territory as fast as we can so we can claim all this stuff over here as well. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely try and build some star bases around these worlds so we can get more power online. Um, but for now, the one in the middle here, this is the reason why I kept this one, is so that it will collect... Uh... Although, can I come to think of it, I don't think we have... Trade? Do we have trade? Epilanes, Unions, Empire... Yeah, we don't have trade. Which is a good thing to think about here. So this doesn't matter, the collection range, because I don't think we have a trade in this uh, particular empire type. Well, let's, um, let's take another solar panel network there instead. I think that's better. We'll keep this one with the two uh, shipyards so I can build a fleet big enough to take on the enemies here. Now I do still have two fleets here, um, and we'll continue to build them up. We also need to build up the capacity of my empire. So first, let's redesign our fleet. Actually, let's see. Can I see the enemy fleet at all? I cannot. So let's build some um, intel here. Yeah, I have a network here. Does it require an asset? It's only five. It's hell. It's also hell. Infiltration is 50 out of 50, and we can't increase any more. Let's gather some intel here. We'll see if we can increase this um, a little higher, and then maybe we can get ourselves an asset. We'll work to building up to so we can understand their ships and see what they have, but we'll also redesign our ships around the suggestions that were made. Let's go to Ship Designer. That's not Ship Designer. This is the Ship Designer. 
And we'll rename, we'll redo our, our Desi and Senti. So the suggestion that I have too much shield, so let's knock that one shield down here. That does give us enough power for the Afterburner, which is probably a good idea, because the Afterburner gives us more evasion and a bit more sublight speed. That'd be good. And our evasion up to 72%, that's pretty good. And then missiles, it was suggested it was better, so why don't we do double missiles, and we'll keep one uh, small call gun as well going. Everything else here, I think, is about the same, so we'll do that, and we'll uh, save this as is. And then we'll go to our destroyer, and instead of the gunship on the one side, let's have picket. But I only want one picket slot, this one here. We'll do the picket ship bow, but we'll stick with the... Um, Small, small, medium. Yeah, we'll do point defense here. We'll grab the missiles again on this ship. But I'll keep the laser here, I think. No, we'll stick the call gun there. And that'll be our gunship. Now we'll do... Uh, Couple of shields, but we'll concentrate on armor. And of course we'll have the afterburners as well. So let's save that. And maybe this will help out our uh, ships going forward. And we'll convert all our ships over. So this will be 264, I got lots. And then uh, we'll get you to flip over as well. And that'll be that. Now we are in a bit of a mineral crunch, so I gotta build more minerals, um, which is important here. And I gotta upgrade my home planet systems here with their, uh, their um, what do you call it, uh, central buildings, right? The administration array. I wanna upgrade that to the um, planetary processors, because it does create more jobs and it's better for the Empire if I have them. But I'm in a real crunch of uh, minerals and I'm lacking. Anomaly. Looks like I need 800 to upgrade this. That's pretty crazy. So, I think in the short term I'm going to try and build some spots where I have jobs that I need. Like, this, there are jobs upcoming here. This planet might as well. They have lots of jobs on those planets. Those are a little short on jobs, but not crazy short. On this mining world, I keep hitting the wrong thing here, let's build another one of these. Uh, I need 300, so we're a little short. Okay. What was complete? Starbase was completed. Anya does. Okay, I want you to come over here and build that for me, please. We'll keep expanding out here. Ships upgraded. That's good. One fleet upgraded, working on the second fleet. Cool, we get some science from that event. We have a couple other worlds I can colonize. I got a continental world here, which looks pretty good. Other than that, I think there aren't any to do. And this world up here, and this world over here is another relic world. Oh, that's a good one. So I'll definitely try and colonize that. To do that, I've got to build towards that. All right, start digging for the Rubricator. That's uh, this system here. Yeah. And uh, our Ryko has finished construction queue of its station. Good. Gives me a little bit more energy to work with. Um, these guys are done. I'll probably build a few more destroyers. So let's do with the uh, fleet designer here. Uh, no, that's ship. Uh, fleet. Fleet manager. We got our Mycosh machine fleet, which has got 17. We'll take this down. 20. Let's take you up to, let's say, 10. And maybe 30 and 10. Yeah, that seems okay. And same here. We'll go 10 and take you up to 30. It's good. Let's uh, reinforce you. Other construction ship doing? It's working. 
Oh, we got a little bit more on here. An equipment malfunction. That's unfortunate. Construction complete. Got some more contact going with that particular race over there. This construction is done here. All right. So I want you to grab this system for me, please. Research complete. What have we researched now? Naval capacity, excellent. Habitability is useful, but not that useful. Let's get the battle simulators. That's Research useful. Complete. Uh, good. Corvette and frigate hull points. It's excellent. I probably want the star hold, but I'm going to grab the mining first because I'm in that mining crunch like I mentioned. That'll help. Won't help a ton right now, but it'll help. Every little bit helps. After I get this station here, I'm going to go up here and grab this Melitane station. This Melin... Melitane. Yeah, that's right. Melitane station. Construction complete. We'll see how far we can get. Quantum catapult secured. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's right. I was building over here to make sure we got this system to secure the quantum catapult. While I'm at it, I should probably grab some of the system other ones. Complete. I have tons of... Uh, Influence, so I can just grab another system. No problem. What's this? Oh, it's Tianki. Oh, that's even better, because that's not an empire. So we can head out this way. There's a nice continental world out there. Improved deflectors is excellent. Uh, Resource alternatives would be good. Science on science is really cheap. Uh, let's get the science on science. Construction complete. Good. Mission accomplished. So we'll raise our thing up. Yeah, we're going to 55 now. We'll wait till that's done. So it's going up uh, fairly quickly here. Got the hat aliens. We'll send you off. Construction is done here. We'll come grab this. We'll help lock off. Ah, there's another alien over here. Let's check. Is this an actual alien? System survey complete. No, this is the uh, mining robots. No worries. could disband this transport fleet to save me a little bit of upkeep, but it's only, um... Did it tell me the upkeep here? I don't think it does. Does it tell me the upkeep here? Army's five. Yeah, it's not really that much. It's one each. So I think we'll just hold on to them for now. Yeah, sure, you can do that. You grab that one? Perfect. You come grab this one, please. Thank you. Let's grab this colony. And uh, we will immediately build a house. Construction complete. Good. Solar sails is fun. What are you done? Oh, you're done over here. Okay, let's grab you. I'm gonna head over this way to grab this system. Yeah, it looks like there's basically nobody up here, which is excellent. I kind of wish one of you two had gone this way. Oh, another world. 17 Continental, also very good. We'll work our way towards it. I don't think these guys want me. Surprise cash. We have a new asset. Excellent. Let's take a look. First off, we're talking. Excellent. So the new asset will give me max infiltration level plus five and uh, sabotage and government. 
plus four. Excellent. I want to... your campaign, extort favors, acquire asset. Okay. So we're at 57 for medium. Can I see their fleet yet? Intel, medium. Level low. I can get Cessus Bally, Relative Fleet Power, Location of Star Bases, that's useful. Imminent Invasion Plans, also useful. And ship Details, okay. Let's see if I can get some ship details off of them. Can I see their ships? I cannot. I can see their Star Bases, which is good. Yeah, I recently watched a video about the usefulness of the intel network, and to be honest, I don't really use it all that much. Looks like we finished the um, popular rock, and we just gained a bunch of science from it, so that's fun. Um, yeah, the usefulness of the intel. I hadn't realized it tells you where the star bases are. That's useful. And also the imminent attack, which I think is also useful. Um, we'll get to that eventually. I'm not going to do this archaeological site yet because I know once you complete it that it gives you a limited time bonus to construction mega mega projects, and we're not in a place to build this yet. We're getting close, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm just going to use this ship to um, come over here and uh, do the research in this area. I would like you to come here, please. Oops. Come here, please. Survey that system. Construction complete. Perfect, thank you. Please come over to this system. Ooh, a 12 uh, society science system. That's pretty good. This one's a 9 uh, physics one. In fact, there's a bunch of physics over here. Let's take a look at this world here. Now, they don't want me to be next to them, I assume. Yeah, militant isolationists. So that means any of these systems with a red line going to them, I cannot put any ships in. But I could grab Shinked here. I could grab this system, which is actually pretty good. And I could grab that system. Uh, no, no, sorry, not this system. So I got the red line to it. So I could grab these two systems, and I might. Oh, another encounter at Farund. That's fun. Do I have anything out there? No. They're all busy. So we'll wait. Research, complete. Research do I got? Oh, science on science. That's good. More science output might be good, or the better point defense might be good. Let's grab better point defense, and then I'll grab a science boost after. That's my shipbuilding coming along. Looks like we've stopped. Life form well, let's um, upgrade the fleet. And upgrade the fleet. I think this is with the improved shields. Construction complete. Yeah, I really should build the star bases like was suggested. So let's build one here. We'll get that going. That'll provide at least two star bases for my empire. Now this one won't have one, but I think that's okay. Ships upgraded. And while we're at it, let's build a couple of defense platforms here. Now. Before I build the defense platform, let's see what our defense platforms are. We'll do ship designer here, and I'm going to design a new one. And we'll do... Medium, I guess? Or small? Let's do small. With point defense, I guess? And we'll just make the missile stations. Lots of missiles. Oops. One more missile, please. And then some point defense. I'm gonna throw one flak on. Yep. I know what I did to 
before. I did the cancel above it and that cancel with a placement. Uh, the reactor boosters I don't really need. Let's grab a couple of shields. And then we'll stick armor on the breast. That should be pretty good. Sure. We'll just call this defense platform. We'll auto upgrade. And then let's get rid of the uh, pre made one. And we'll build some of these around our home worlds. Build at least three, I think. Gravekeepers? I don't think I've ever seen this before. The actions of the Tianki inhabiting the Turin Ort system do not match the known behavior patterns of the species. While the Tianki are usually nomadic, these herds remain stationed around a planet entirely covered in the carcasses of their dead. Attempts to study the burial grounds have been hindered by the net of tentacles the Tianki have wrapped around the planet, making further research impossible. Unless we are willing to displace or dispose of the gravekeepers. Tianki are easy prey, eliminate them. Or displace them without harming them. We don't want to blow them up. Let's just displace them. Situation log updated. So we'll do uh construction ship in your orbit. Okay, let's get these two done as well. Looks like we have a bunch of contacts now. Uh, Tianki here, so let's do this. We'll do the research project, and then I, after that I want you to come over here and build that station, please. You of the other station, I would like you to... Um, build these, please. Actually, while you're standing here, why don't you build that? Then come over here and build these, please. I might see about building another um, construction ship. We'll see. Yeah, there's definitely a race over here. We definitely want to race over to this continental world. It's pretty good. We have made contact with mysterious aliens on Turin Ort system. We had find out whether they possess a method of communication. Okay. I have an available person? Nope. Let's see, can I get more information on these people yet? How's this going? Up to 49, okay. Gotta get more. Working on it. I have 300, maybe I can build another mining complex? And you have no jobs left. Uh, you should probably be a tech world and not a mining world. I'm worried if I do that I'm going to lose the... Uh, yeah, the outpost plus 25 is really going to hurt this, so I'm going to leave that for now. Sure, let's build one of these here. Hmm. Research complete. Good, more mining. That's done. Ooh, even better armor. Swarmer missiles. Mining. Oh, look at the mining stations. Ancient Alien Mining Strongs. Excellent. Let's uh, find out who these people are. System survey complete. You're all working away? You're not working away. You were supposed to come over here and build that research station for me. Uh, 
Construction complete. These guys are done, so let's do another uh, reinforce here. Get my strength up. System survey complete. This construction is done now too, so let's build uh, one solar panel and maybe a gun battery. Now we'll just build two solar panels and uh, maybe a jammer. Looks like they're gearing up for war again. Only 300 here. Can I see what their ships have? Let's pause for a second here. Do not have enough intel. All right. Evasion plus five. Regenerative hull tissue. I like evasion. Damage to void clouds or physics. Let's get void loops. Tasty bait, okay. The construction of the Tianqi Lure at Taiyan Ort system has been completed. Beguiled by the nourishing gases released by the diffuser, the gravekeepers were lured away from their post, allowing our science units to slip through their tentacles and approach the burial ground unnoticed. What did that give me? It gave me a burial site, interesting. Uh, let's have you need 82. Okay, and so I want you to stay here. And build that, please. Good, we're up to 35 production from 18. That's good. I want to get this closer to 100. Serious spacefarers, keep at it. And let's check our intel over here. How's that doing? We're up to 51, a maximum of 60. Okay. Gives us what? Well, still low intel over here. Or increasing. That's good. Spaceborne life form encountered. I'd like you to be just doing your thing over there, please. More space amoeba. Construction complete. Good, you're done here. I'd like you to build that one. Are you building a station around here? You are not, you're scanning. Good. Come grab that, and maybe I can even grab Farud here. That'll block them off entirely because we've got the uh, drones here in both of these spots. Which isn't like perfectly safe because these drones aren't particularly powerful. This one's not too bad, but this one is only 700. But it's a start. I have to make sure immediately, as soon as I find an empire over here, I'm going to, that's on my border, I'm going to try and improve relations with them so they don't attack me. Now we are safe from over here because these guys will not attack us. At least not until later in the game. Complete. These guys will eventually come back and attack us, but I think we're fine for the moment. Research complete. What have we got? Uh, good. Gives me the ability to um, make our ships not novices when they come out. Terraforming gases could be good. Starbase capacity plus two could also be good. The fortress. Let's get the terraforming gases. Spaceborne life form encountered. It's done. You're done here, so let's build those, please. System survey complete. Got your building out here. Asteroid sighted. Excellent. 
Situation log updated. We'll just grab one of our fleets. Come over here. Spaceborne life form encountered. Pack this thing, please. Complete. Research complete. And our research, good mining subsidies. Excellent. Ooh, new call guns would be good. I think I should get the star hold first, though. So let's do that. And uh, let's build um, two more there. Let's start building a few here. Well, at least one. Got a station around our home world. Is at 2.1k, which is good. We found another archaeological site. Excellent. Go over there and patch. System survey complete. Not very good systems over here, and these are all enemies. So I think we're guarded on this side by enemies. Now these aren't very strong fleets. These are Trace Amoeba. Well, this one is. The rest of them are. I think we're okay for the moment. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, you're done here. Can I grab this system? I can. All right, we'll do that because that's a good choke point. It's not a bad system. I don't see any worlds over here. Got the asteroids destroyed. We get a bunch of minerals. Let's grab our fleet. Come back here. System survey complete. And let's um, use those minerals on our planet. So let's upgrade the capital. To think about it, I only have a limited amount, so I gotta make sure that I don't go nutty here. You have zero jobs. Let's also upgrade you. How much is that gonna cost? 800? Sure. Let's grab, uh, oh yeah, the mineral processing plant. Just 300 there. Uh, anybody else have a good mineral processing? You're not too bad. You're a good mineral processing world, so let's do you as well. And uh, maybe one more generator district. All that good. So solve some of our job problems. We upgraded two of the capitals. That's good. We need to upgrade them more, but again, sort of mineral crunched here. We'll have to deal with that in the next episode, so I hope you're enjoying the series, thanks for coming along with me, and uh, hopefully we can be better prepared for our next war. Looks like our friends down here are thinking about it again. Um, see you in the next one, when we hopefully expand. Have a great day.